Folks, we're in Olathe, Colorado, and we've got this Big Bend horse trader that we're going to put up on auction time. Uh, it's a local feedlot here in Olathe. They're just kind of downsizing a little bit, and so we're going to go ahead and get this trailer listed for them. You can see it's got a partial top on it. The front two compartments are covered. It's the back compartment that is not, so it's a half top. And 78-inch uh, wide on the floor, 6.5 foot on the floor. The floor is actually 20 feet. The uh, main trailer is 24, but you've got some saddle room compartments here in the front. From the very tip of the hitch up here all the way to the back is approximately 31 feet. So I'm calling this a 20 foot, flavor, uh, 20 foot trailer because that's what the floor is. Um, and I just want to kind of walk around and show you this, this trailer is exceptionally clean. Um, I, I will get the year uh, whenever I get a copy of the title. We do have a clean Colorado title in hand. I will find out what the year is for you guys, but just wanted to walk around the trailer and 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 just show you guys kind of what this is because this this is one of the cleanest horse trailers we've had the opportunity to sell. It is a steel trailer, has torsion axles, in very good shape. I've got a picture of the underside of the trailer. The cross members are all good. There's not well, there's not hardly any rust. I was gonna say there's not a lot of rust. There's hardly any rust on this trailer. They kept the, the floor cleaned out. They did use this primarily for horses. Did not haul a lot of cattle in this trailer. This is what they would take their horses up to their high mountain pastures to check cattle with. So it didn't have a lot of cattle in it. But I did just want to kind of walk around and show you guys what this trailer looks like. So on each side, you've got a saddle compartment and a tack compartment, if you will, for all of your tack and saddles and that kind of stuff. And the other side has this same compartment in it, just so you guys know. And it, it, it's in good shape like you would expect it to be. And you can see that if you want to put a padlock in there, you can lock it. This compartment here... Excuse me. This just goes up into the nose. So if you wanted to put some supplies up in here, or if you wanted to haul some calves, you could put some calves up in there. You see you've got your vents up on the front, so you could do something like that if you wanted to. And again, you can lock that. So the sides of the trailer are good. Um, I'll zoom in here so you can see there's no rust on these outside rails. If you guys can see that. Now, I will point out, just for full disclosure, see how they've cut that little piece right there and it looks like they barely nicked the one in the front but then the rest of these are all good so if I see a little flaw like that I'll sure try to point it out to you guys I saw that one there tires all the way around I would say are average they are uh, I'm sure these are 750 excuse me they're 85 16s guys L uh, ST 235 85 16s and I believe these are steel rims. Torsion axles, as I mentioned. A little bit of surface rust on the top of the rail. Here's where you can see a little bit of rust on that rail right there on the frame, but nothing extraordinary. They kept this trailer pretty clean. So as I mentioned, it's 78 inches wide on the floor. And this is pretty handy. I like this. These are spring-loaded pins on the back. Now, I'm sure there's a word for what this floor is. I'm going to call it a rubberized lumber floor. That's probably not the right word for it. But that's what it, it looks and feels like. And you can see it's got some traction and some cleats on it for your livestock so that they don't slip around a lot. And if I can just... Kind of hand up through these bars you can see the neck again this is the floor where we looked at it from the side so these gates here this is this is a pretty handy setup the way they did this you've got your latch right here that would come down and then these are barn style gates that would open up on each side on the front okay you've got your access door here on the front left of this compartment so I measured these and approximately, there's three compartments in the trailer, and again, it's a 20 foot floor. So the front is 58, and then you have 92 in the middle and 92 inches on the back. 
So 58 on the front, 58 inches, 92 inches in the center, and 92 inches. Those are approximate measurements, guys. But that, that comes out to the 20, 20 feet when you, made, when you add it all together. And so that's, that's how these things are set up. Now, what I like about this, you can see you've got your spring latches that hold the gate open here. And you can just release that and see how that locks that open. And then goes back. And then your gates latch in the center that way. And the same thing, when you go to release it, that locks that latch open and it'll come right open. Now I want to leave this shut and show you. I'd never seen this before, but you've got a cable and it looks like it's been broke. But this has a piston. I don't know if I'm strong enough to pull it or not. There we go. And so your gates, you can leave your compartment gate shut and just open it up like that to let your livestock out if you're hauling cattle or sheep or something. Okay? And each one of the center gates has that. So, again, 58 inches on the front. And then I've got this gate released already. It, was, it, it latches like it should, but... And then the same thing, you've got your barn style gate right here to let them open. And then you get your back compartment back here. And just a solid, nice trailer all the way around, guys. And then those are spring-loaded on the bottom. And you can latch it right there across the back. So, guys, this is just a super nice trailer. And as I'm looking at the, the frame rail on the outside, on this side, I don't see hardly any rust over here. I just, I don't see any. You know, you see a little discoloration on the upright supports there. You know, whether you wanted to do something with that and repaint it, that's up to you, I guess, guys. And then coming over here, we've got the same tack compartment on the left that you had on the other side as well. Okay. Now I've got a little, this must be your latch. That is, that's handy. I've never seen one of those. I'm not gonna release it, but this is how you release your ball up there as you pull this back and lock it. And therefore you don't have to crawl up on the trailer. See how it's hooked to that cable right there, guys? I've never seen one of those before, so. But that releases your hitch so you can unhook it. You can see you got a good, just like brand new, spare tire up on the top. And again, I'm calling this a 20 foot, guys, because that's the floor space on it, 20 foot by six and a half. You got four more feet up here on the tack room, about seven more feet up here on the tongue. So that's a little trailer, guys. It is a big bend. Let me see if it tells me what year it is here. It says 10 in October of 2015, so I'm guessing this is going to show up as a 2016 model. And these guys probably bought it new. So any of you guys looking for a good horse trailer, here you are right here. Okay? So we will get her put up on auction time for you. If you have any questions, give me a holler. But this is a good, clean, big bend horse trailer, guys. A half top, as I call it. And uh, give us a call if you have any questions. It sure make you guys a nice trailer.